Good morning, Gateway High School. It's Thursday, December 7th. We're your hosts, Madison and Oreo, and we've got some exciting announcements for you. That's right. After school today, LULAC has a fantastic fundraiser. Get ready to tantalize your taste buds in the comments with wa mouth-watering flavors like mango, watermelon, Jamaican, and horchata. You might want to buy too. Remember, cash is preferred, but if you want to pay with card, make sure to swing by the bookkeeper first and bring your receipt. Today we continue Spirit Week with Grinch Day, and tomorrow, cozy up in your pajamas for our last Spirit Day of the Week. And speaking of Spirit Week, this Saturday is the biggest event of the year, Shop with an Oli. It's your final chance to sign up and be a part of something bigger than yourself. Bring your form to the front office, and if you truly can't make it, please donate canned, good, canned food, tissue paper, wrapping paper, graham crackers, and cookies decorations to Room 105. Ms. Coleman and the BSA are also hosting a sold food truck event this Friday. Let's get more details. Hi, Olis. I'm Brianna, and I'm here with Ms. Coleman. Can you tell me more about the BSA event that's happening on Friday? Sure. We are having a sold food truck event after school to celebrate just some of the tasty food um, from our culture, jambalaya, chicken and waffles, um, and also catfish sandwiches so bring your money um, it'll be located outside of the entrance to the school um, on Friday so as you're exiting just make sure you're ready to purchase a plate and then BSA will get a percentage of sales so it's helping us fundraise and we would really appreciate your support Sounds delicious, now let's switch gears and talk sports. That's right, Oreo and the boys basketball team is gearing up for action tomorrow to finish the Fairview tournament with a winning record. The swim team will be making a splash this Saturday at 10 a.m. when they travel to Manuel High School in Denver. And last but not least, Madison and the Cheers team is ready to compete tomorrow at 1 p.m. at Denver Coliseum. Madison talks with her teammates, let's take a look. All right, I'm here with London, one of our flyers and tumblers. London, how are you feeling about states? Um, I feel good, but low key, like I'm a little nervous. Low key. Why are you nervous? I don't know. It's like, you know, obviously the nerves of having to like work in front of judges. Right. And have to do all that in front of judges. I feel like there's a lot of pressure. But we work well under pressure, right? Yeah, we got that. Okay. You know that. No, we're fine. Hi, my name is Madison. I'm here with Gateway's cheer captain, Lulu. Lulu, how are you feeling about States on Friday? I am feeling really confident on our team. We have worked really hard these past few months and definitely worked hard this week because competition is Friday, December 8th, and we are very excited to go and perform for all these States and seeing everyone. Yeah. Hi, my name is Madison. I'm here with Regina, one of our best flyers. How are you feeling about States? I'm excited, but I'm also really nervous. I'm hoping we do our best. What are you nervous for? Stunts. I'm hoping we don't drop. We or your bases? We, baby. I hope I don't hit the floor and get a concussion. Thanks, Regina. Of course. Hi, it's the number one Madison's at Gateway. Madison, how are you feeling about states on Friday? I feel really confident. I feel like we got this in the bag. We have been working really hard pushing, and I feel like this is going to be a really good turnout. Tell us about your post-secondary education journey. All right, so I went to Texas State in San Marcos, Texas. Uh, I got a degree in interdisciplinary science and a minor in physics. All this means is that um, instead of just doing physics or chemistry or biology, I did a bit of each of them, and that's why I'm certified to teach all of them, as well as do extra stuff with physics because I really liked that. Was education the first choice? Um, if I didn't have scholarships, it would not have been. I was really lucky that my dad had the Hazelwood Act. And that helped me pay for college, as well as some other scholarships I found. Um, but that was my first choice if I didn't have a scholarship, or if I, because I had a scholarship, yeah. What other careers did you have? Um, I've honestly been teaching for as long as I can remember. I guess I worked at some taco places in Old Navy, or not Old Navy, um, Banana Republic, but those were just summer jobs. I've really only done teaching as a career so far. Okay, thank you. Yep.
And that wraps up our announcements for today. Remember to wear your PJs tomorrow for PJ Day. Goodbye.